This news update is brought to you by. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Today News Update for Tuesday, September the 23rd, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Good evening. Police fraud squad investigations into executive car rentals operations will not push commercial banks in Barbados to introduce any new loan arrangements for acquiring vehicles. The Bankers Association of Barbados says it's treating this case as a one-off incident which do not require any additional measures or across-the-board restrictions on car loans. President of the Association, Glenn Harrison, tells Barbados today, in light of the police probe into reports of loans being disbursed for vehicles that did not exist, banks would treat each customer on a case-by-case -case basis. Harrison says the sector had no intention of antagonizing customers unnecessarily. And Barbados' international business sector is holding its own despite the hard economic conditions. Speaking at the launch of International Business Week today, President of the Barbados International Business Association, Connie Smith, revealed that confidence within the sector remains high. She says the sector is also posting slow growth as businesses choose to keep operating on the island. While some traditional international business and financial centers are experiencing a decline in business, Barbados is certainly, uh, we're growing very slowly. Appreciate, of course, that we're a mature jurisdiction, so we wouldn't be experiencing growth in a 20% or a 30%. So our growth is very sustainable. But importantly, we're not losing business. Um, so yes, the number of, of structures that are implemented in Barbados are for very bespoke and specific solutions and they will come naturally to the, the end of their lives. But importantly, we're not seeing an exodus of, of business from Barbados or um, large multinational corporations choosing to use another jurisdiction besides Barbados for their international business needs as a result of any blacklisting or anything that is um, negative in Barbados's, uh, in Barbados's view. And Barbados's most prominent private sector welfare organization has been forced to scale down some of its services to the needy. The Salvation Army's Public Relations Officer, Major Denzel Walker, tells Barbados today the services suffering cutbacks included their food hamper distribution program and the feeding of persons discharged from prison. Major Walker says the substantial shortfall in meeting last year's Christmas appeal target of $700,000 had dealt a telling blow to the level of service it's been able to provide this year. As a result of that, we've had a not cut back on our programs, but cut back on some of our days. For instance, we still feed 160 people every day, but whereas last year we were able to give up for our after back to school program, 70, 75 families, that is children going back to school, we were only able to give about 30 this year. That's one. The other thing about it is that we did not cut back on our staff. We did not fire anybody. We we're able to use our staff and appoint them in different areas. So we're, we're still making up with that. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Sun power. 
To our regional neighbors now, their Speaker of the Guyana National Assembly, Raphael Trotman, has been granted an injunction preventing any material of allegations of sexual misconduct against him from being published. This as a 22-year-old man charged that the Speaker molested him nearly a decade ago. House Speaker Trotman maintains his innocence and dismissed the allegations as nothing more than a political gimmick. A lie can't stand, and every lie needs a columns of lies to keep that one lie up. And that is where, you know, this morning I looked at the newspaper, I smiled. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say more. But everything is, is just crumbling. It is absolutely political and well-timed, but it's going to... Um, it's going to dissolve. It's going to be okay. And then finally, on the international scene, worrying predictions from the World Health Organization as officials estimate that Ebola infections will reach the 20,000 mark by November if drastic action is not taken. In new figures released today, the WHO also predicted that by January next year, over 1 million people in Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone will be infected if efforts to tackle the outbreak are not stepped up. The news comes on the heels of an announcement by the Wellcome Trust charity that experimental drugs, including ZMAP, which has only been given to a handful of health workers, will be tested in West Africa for the first time in the coming days. And with that, we come to the end of our 6 p.m. Barbados Today update. We'll be back again at 7 in the morning. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay in supermarkets and gas stations near you for the latest news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a wonderful evening. This news update is brought to you by...